There's a packed event going on all around us, but we keep bringing you the very best of our presenters who've talked at this event and also are interacting with many of our delegates as well. The way we work today is changing dramatically. How do organizations empower their employees to keep up? Yeah, Michael, I mean, that's a great question and thanks for, I think, introducing the subject. I think customers are fighting for relevance today. And as we've seen over the last number of decades now, staying relevant in terms of how you adopt IT and make that relevant within your organization is what's really put you forward in terms of being su successful in this market. So what we're seeing at the moment is one of the, the key disruptors is not taking your people on that journey. Right. So ensuring that they're enabled and they're empowered and that they are completely afraid with what is going on around the key tenants of what's creating this revolution and this change in the industry is what's critical. And so empowering them in a way that they're enabled and that they understand what that journey is all about, I think is probably top of mind for all our customers and all our partners out there today. And I think one of the things that you need to do when you're defining any customer's outcome is having an endpoint. This is one of the most difficult things for most customers out there is they see a lot of the stuff going on. There are a lot of things we're talking about. But how do you adopt those things? How do you make it relevant for your organization so that you can continue to push through all the competition? And it starts with actually understanding what journey you want to embrace today. Yeah. And whether that outcome is about IT transformation, security transformation, or workforce transformation, having a starting point and an end point is critical. We typically like to recommend that we start with the IT and the digital transformation platforms. And by doing that, we get to a finite situation where we can understand their environment, what they have from a legacy point of view, and how we need to take their people on a journey to make sure that they can truly embrace uh, what could be their future. So it goes beyond efficient processes, really, and mission-critical applications, into building a much more dynamic culture inside the organization? Oh, absolutely, and I think when you understand what kind of efficiencies you want to drive, not only in terms of the ethos and the culture in the organization, but the benefits associated with those things, that's when you truly get the buy-in from the community that are going to help drive that success. And so mapping that out with a team, I think, is critical. And having them buy into where that journey is going uh, is absolutely critical to the success. I think what is unique around our journey at the moment is we have a finite number of transformational elements that the customers can embrace. These are tangible elements that they can relate to their employees that helps them be part of that enablement process. So give me process. one or two examples of that. How is that being delivered in real terms? Well, fantastic. We look at the data center as an example. If you want to modernize your data center, you need to look at addressing some of the IT transformational needs in order to go on a modern journey mm -hmm. and really uncomplicate some of the complexity that you have from legacy. And we start by looking at key elements like, what does your environment look like? Do you have an all-flash environment? Are you on a hyper-converged uh, journey or not? Uh, are you looking at cloud, a hybrid cloud strategy as, as an example? And I think as soon as you put some of those tangible kind of processes on the table, customers become very familiar with, with what is required in order taking their people on that journey together with them. Brilliant, Brad, yeah. thank you for coming in and sharing that with Fantastic. us. Fantastic. Much continued success, sir. Real Look pleasure to having Thank you with you, us Michael. in studio. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.